So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. For the second method, you're gonna head over to search and type in date and time settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure that your time zone is correct. Make sure that you have set time automatically turned on. Now you're gonna scroll down and then click on sync now. Make sure that your date and time is fully synced up. See if that works. For the next method, you're gonna head over to search and type in wsreset.exe. And now this will come up, you're gonna click on this. It's gonna reset the Microsoft Store cache. See if that works for you. For the next method, you're gonna head over to search and type in Microsoft Store. Now you're gonna click on app settings. And then once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down and then click on terminate. Now you're gonna click on reset and then click on reset again. It's now gonna reset the Microsoft Store. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, see if that works for you. If that's still not working, then for the last method, you're gonna head over to search and type in Windows PowerShell. Now you're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you just wanna copy and paste the code which will be down below in the description. It's gonna start with get apex package. We're just gonna highlight this. It's gonna be down below in the description. Now once you highlight it, you're gonna do control C to copy it. And then come to PowerShell and then do control V to paste it. And then click on enter. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, you just wanna restart your computer. And then hopefully this will not fix your problem. 